A little good news for Boeing this week. Their first 737 MAX 10 completed its first taxi test. Next on Maximus. Taxi tests are a routine part of an aircraft's design and certification process. It involves a series of taxi and runway maneuvers, including accelerating down the runway. Taxi tests do not, however, involve becoming airborne. The MAX 10 is yet to undertake its first test flight. Boeing told online aviation magazine Simple Flying they are on track to do so later in 2020. Deliveries were expected to commence later this year, but are now expected to begin in 2021. That, of course, is subject to the worldwide grounding of the 737 MAX aircraft being lifted. The first 737 MAX 10 was only unveiled three months ago. The MAX 10 is 64 inches longer than the MAX 9 and has a new main landing gear design. For the MAX 10, we've extended the fuselage 66 inches based on customer feedback to add more seats. A longer fuselage typically necessitates a longer landing gear, but a longer landing gear would then require changes to items such as the main gear wheel well. We wanted to preserve commonality in the MAX family. We needed to get the landing gear back into the same unchanged wheel well of the MAX 8 and 9. To do that, we've added nine inches of capability to the gear lengthwise when the airplane rotates. And to do that, we put in this new lever. So this is really the key. This is on the ground, and this is when we rotate. And this lever extends down that nine and a half inches to provide us that rotation. Now what I have here behind me is a 3D printed plastic model, half scale, that represents the complete design functionality. Now to get us back into the same wheel well, the engineering team has come up with an innovative shrinking mechanism. And this mechanism, when we retract the gear, as I'll do right now, will pull up the inner cylinder and allow us to be positioned the same as the existing MAX family today. From a pilot's perspective, there's absolutely nothing different between the MAX 10 main landing gear and the existing MAX families. That solution really, really maximizes both the value to us and our customers. Boeing says it has firm commitments for 550 MAX 10s from over 20 customers. The 737 MAX 10 is the biggest aircraft in the MAX family. It will be powered by the largest CFM International Leap 1B engines and feature advanced technology winglets, Boeing Sky Interior, large flight deck displays, and other features designed to deliver the best possible flight experience. At just over 143 feet in length, the MAX 10 tops the length of the MAX 9. In comparison, the MAX 8 is a little over 129 feet and the MAX 7 is about 117 feet. All four aircraft in the MAX family have the same wingspan of about 116 feet. And while the MAX 10 can carry the most passengers, up to 230 depending on the cabin configuration, it has the shortest range of all four aircraft. The MAX 10 can fly up to 3,330 nautical miles. That's pretty good for a narrow body jet. But the smaller aircraft in the MAX family can go further. The best performer being the MAX 7, that can fly up to about 3,900 nautical miles. Boeing has sold over 3,200 MAX 8 aircraft. The MAX 10 is the second most popular variant in the MAX family, having sold 550 aircraft. However, all are yet to be delivered. Customers include AirCap, multiple aircraft leasing companies, Copa Airlines, Fly Dubai, Gol, Lion Air, Malaysia Airlines, TUI, and SkyUp Airlines. The biggest customer is United Airlines. United has put in an order for 100 MAX 10s. The United order dates back to June 2017. That must seem like a lifetime ago for Boeing. At the time, Andrew Levy, United Airlines Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer said, The 737 MAX 10 will enable us to continue using larger and more efficient aircraft within our domestic network and better meet the needs of our customers today and into the future. United expected to take delivery of its first MAX 10s later in 2020. Of course, with the MAX aircraft grounded and production suspended, the original timeline won't stick. United Airlines was flying 14 MAX 9s prior to the grounding 12 months ago. It had planned to be operating 30 MAXs by now. 
but the MAX 10 taxi test this week represents a bright spot for both Boeing and the customers like United who have ordered the aircraft. Despite all the problems at Boeing, things are still moving forward. Well, there you go. A little good news for Boeing. It's a good sign that things are moving forward. Once again, thanks for joining me here on Maximus Aviation and do all those things you're supposed to do. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, share. And until next time, leave the rub around the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I'll see you in the sky. This is Maximus.